to you. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to my car. <laughs> um, I have lots of errands to run today, so I thought that we would chit chat while I am running those errands. So, how are you? I thought we would catch up a little bit. Um, I, you know, there's been a lot going on, and I just thought we'd chit chat and catch up about it. So, um, it is March 13th, and we um, are now, we would be on day five of our cruise, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yep, day five. I don't know where we would be. I, I have no idea. One of the ports. So, Princess has fully refunded our excursions as of now, and, um, well, as of, like, a few days ago, actually, and, um, yeah, so that's that. And we have rebooked our next cruise. I'm gonna stay in this lane. And not only that, but we have rebooked uh, excursions. I was thinking the next one was gonna be quite similar to the cancellation cruise. It's not, uh, it's very different. Some of the ports are the same, but most of them are different. So I have to turn my air up a little bit, one second. So that's one thing I have to discuss with you. Um, so, last year over the summer, I started having hot flashes and, you know, I thought it was stress actually because we were going through some things with work that were incredibly stressful last year, but I really thought it was that. It was, I, maybe it wasn't. Now, um, they started towards the end of December and they have just been relentless. They have been so intrusive. I have been so unbelievably hot and then freezing cold. Have you experienced this? I, first of all, I cannot take HRT or anything even similar, not birth control pills, none of that. Um, my mother uh, passed away from breast cancer in 2018. It was not the type of cancer caused by the gene. Uh, it was simply from taking hormone replacement therapy. It caused her breast cancer. So, um, among other cancers. So, this was partially part of the reason why I had a hysterectomy um, in 2018. Um, and I also had lumps, masses in my breast. I think I put that on the channel as well. I had to have... Uh, a lot of testing done on that, and that finally cleared last year. I had had it my entire adult life that we know of, um, and uh, some changes were made to my diet, as you know. And honestly, I, I contributed to that. I'm not a doctor, but that's you know kind of interesting. So coincidental, if you will. Anyway, so they have gone. I do need to go back. It's time for an annual again every year, obviously. Anyway, um, so these hot flashes have been incredibly intrusive into my life. They are keeping me, they wake me up at night. And well, actually I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm waking up and then having a hot flash or if it's the start of the hot flash that's waking me up. I am miserable with this. I am, I will be dripping sweat. I don't sweat like that. I like don't, don't even sweat like that when I'm working out or on a run. I, I don't know what to make of this, and it's really annoying. <laughs> so please share with me your experience. And, and another part of this is weight gain. Like, it came out of nowhere. So, you know, I gain usually a couple of pounds for each cruise. Like, I'll gain a couple of pounds, and within two or three weeks, it'll go away. When we cruise as often as we have October, October, or excuse me, September, October, and then again in January, and then we had the holidays, I will gain 10 pounds or so, and it'll come, this is being stubborn, it's not moving, and it's fine, like, my, my clothes still fit, everything's fine, it's just, I'm not used to it, and it's just weird, and I think it's hormones that's causing this. Anyway, so please share with me your experience. Um, I'm back on track now as of Monday. I really wasn't. I had a very fun weekend with food for our birthdays, and um, we went to Hat Creek. Oh, here's a picture of my meal. Isn't that 
nothing fancy, but this is for you guys. That is, it's so good. If you can't have Guy's Burger and you can't be on a cruise ship and have Italian gluten-free uh, croissants, you can have Hat Creek and thoroughly enjoy yourself. <laughs> and I did just that. So, um, anyway, but, um, yeah, it's been really strange. Uh, I'd be interested to hear if you're willing to share in the comments. Do remember it's a public place. Anybody can see your comments. Um, what your feelings are or what you sort of experienced with menopause. It's hard for me to know because I had a hysterectomy. If this is stress and anxiety or if it is indeed hot flashes because I only seem to have it happen when I think about it or when I wake up in the middle of the night and all of a sudden I can't go back to sleep and I toss and I turn and then I'll have a hot flash. It is the weirdest thing. So hot. So hot that I carry fans with me now. But the hot flash will last maybe a minute or two. It's very short. And then I will literally start shivering. I'm so cold. I don't understand it. And then, you know, my normal, I'm always cold prevails. And I stay that way until the next hot flash. And they usually happen in the evening or overnight. Sometimes I'll have one in the morning, but not often. And it's usually like, I don't know what it is. It's really driving me crazy. So I thought I would ask, I am 53, no, 52, I am 52. And um, yeah, so I'm just very curious. And uh, I'm, I am due for my annual. I told you I, need, I was going to take care of all of this stuff when we got back from our cruise. Maybe I'll go this month. I may go after the next cruise, which is in 37 days. And um, I may go after that. I, I don't know. It's just going to depend. Work is crazy right now. So it's going to depend upon what's going on with work as to whether I go or not when I go. Anyway. So that's that. So I just thought I would ask you and see what your thoughts were on that. And maybe if you felt like sharing your experience, what your experience was, is, was with that. So thank you in advance. Clean out my closet. And um, it felt so good to clean it out. I really kind of wanted to vlog it, but at the same time, I was like, meh. I mean, you've, you've seen cleaned out closets before. Mine was an absolute disaster. It was a mess. I had clothes all over the place, clothes I needed to get rid of, things I wore, wasn't wearing anymore, things I'm tired of, things that just didn't fit well, things that I thought I'd wear but never will. I got rid of so much. Literally, if I haven't worn it, it went. If I plan to wear it this summer, it stayed, but if it doesn't get worn this summer, it will go. Um, kind of rearrange things a little bit, making it easier to get into my closet and uh, get to my clothing. Move things in different spots where they weren't really working before. And I still have some things that kind of need to be flip-flopped that still aren't quite in the right spot. But in doing so, I realized how many sweatshirts and hoodies I have. I have a lot. I have a whole lot. So... Yeah. Anyway, I don't need any more, but I sure love them. The next closet I need to clean out is my cruise closet where I keep all of our luggage. I need to go through each and every piece of luggage and pull out. You know, sometimes you just leave stuff in there that you're going to use the next time. I need to clear all of that out. I need to go through all of our travel gear, get rid of the used, worn stuff that I don't use anymore or have worn out and replaced. Um, and um, get it all organized, make sure our snorkel masks and everything, everything's full of sand sometimes when we bring it home and then it goes in that closet and there's sand everywhere. My tech, I need to go through my tech and all of that stuff. So that's on the agenda over the next week or so. Robert and I still have not filmed the Virgin Voyages video. We need to do that. Um, we will do that just need to do it and I did a little bit of a tour of, of Valiant Lady that I was going to kind of think about doing 
some form of video for it. I wasn't quite sure what I would do with it, but I may just, just stick it up there to have something on the channel because weekly vlogs or home vlogs are really only like once a week. And I do have some shorts that are gonna go up on the channel. So, and, but again, like I said, I mean, it's like 37 days until our next cruise and that's like four weeks, I think, of home vlogs, five weeks and I may do a video packing for this cruise. We are flying first class, which is very exciting. It's a waste of money. But we have to use our use up our flight credit. And so it was an expensive flight that got canceled to Europe. So it's a shame we had to use it up so quickly because we could have just rebooked the new flights when they became available. But and a couple of you actually warned me against Princess Flights, Easy Air, Princess Easy Air. And um, our son used Royal Caribbean's flights for a cruise once. And I've had friends who have booked flights with cruises. And it is kind of problematic when things go wrong. So we have decided that we just want to book it ourselves, not through Easy Air. So there'll be that. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I mean, there's that, 15 minutes of yammering. Um, oh, I did have my nails done. I did have my nails done for the cruise with shellac and I broke this one and this one. And so they put a tip on it for me. And um, so until it grows out, and uh, so, but I need to go back because like always, like always, it chips right off my fingernails. I don't know what is wrong with my fingernails. I don't know why nothing sticks to them. Um, so basically I'm gonna go in, have them remove the shellac and um, the ones that have the tip just kind of remove most of it. You know, just to leave a little bit of it left, a thin layer, whatever they need to do, and leave my nails clear. Um, no polish on them. Actually, yeah, no polish on them, nothing. And um, when I get home, I'll just put my growth serum on. And then I'll probably have them done again before we go on Vista, just, just so they look nice and uh, fresh. So... I don't know. Definitely will have my toes done. I always have shellac done on my toes. Always. And I go once every three months. I mean, it just, it lasts forever. And my toenails grow very slow, unlike my fingernails, which grow fairly fast. And my hair. Oh, that's another thing. I have been styling my hair with my Dyson Airwrap. And you guys have been really sweet to me in the comments about it in the couple of videos that you have seen. Um, and I really like it. Now, this is the Air Straight. I use the Air Straight. And I really like that too. But my hair has finally gotten to the length that I can do the air wrap, and I'm really excited about that. And uh, it's it's cooperating, it's doing well. It doesn't really hold the curl. I'm sure if I used it for long, like it'll hold a little bit of the curl, but like the actual wavy curl, basically at the end of the first day, it's gone. And if I were to use a styling product or something to hold it in my hair, it would probably stay better, but I don't like the way that feels, so I don't use that. So, and if I want more curl just the next day, I just whip the Dyson Airwrap through it again very quickly. I really like it. It's very convenient and it's pretty fast. So, um, I, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Now, I also don't take my hair from wet to curled. I use my brush and blow dry my hair straight just with a brush. And then I uh, use the Airwrap on it. Hey guys, thanks for chit-chatting with me and listening to me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here for now, and I will see you when I get back home. This has been 25 minutes of just chatting. So, if you're still here, thank you. How are you doing, little boy? How are you doing? How are you feeling, huh? How are you feeling? Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you feeling? Hmm? Yes, I know. You ready for your medicine? Hey, are you ready for your medicine? Hmm? All right. Oh, goodness, I know. <laughs> Careful, don't get too excited. Gotta stay calm. Yes, good boy. <laughs> I know, baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bless you.
you. That was very moist. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that little boy. He's a bad boy. He does a bad boy. Yes, he is. He does a bad boy. Hello, baby. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing, sleepyhead? How are you doing? Hmm? You so sleepy? Let me zoom you up. Are you so sleepy? See, when I do that, we lose the color. <laughs> He's so handsome. But that's my baby. Yes. Yes. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Well, hello. We are home. I don't know when I vlogged last. I know it was in the car. I don't remember what day that was. Wednesday? It is Monday the following week. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. It's been, mm -hmm, you see behind me. It's been a little stressful these last few days. Um, yeah, I apologize that there's no content on the channel. You guys have given me some great ideas and I have them written down and I am gonna try and get through them. It's just been um, just a little stressful around here. No big deal. So uh, I have a lot of makeup on today. I am again trialing what I want to bring with me for um, this stuff. Whenever we're going to go on a cruise, I always pull out a selection of makeup and start using it exclusively just so I can make sure that's what I'm going to want to have with me on the ship and that I don't sit there and go, mm, I wish I would have brought this or why did I bring this kind of thing. And it also helps me really keep what I'm bringing to a minimum. This is the Makeup by Mario palette. Uh, the one that he released a while back, like last year, I think it was, uh, and I bought it then. I really have enjoyed that palette. It has come with me on a few cruises, and it's almost like it's the perfect palette for me. Uh, it So it has the colors in it that a palette I bought from Too Faced, Meet Matte Nude, or is that Benefit? I think that's Benefit years ago and I actually still have the palette. I don't use it because I feel like it's too old to be used, but it's like my favorite palette. It has the same colors, matte only, as the Mario palette has. And um, it's just, this Mario palette's just really good because it also has the sparkly topper shade in it that you guys know, topper, that you guys know I absolutely love. Um, I, I love that little bit of sparkle right in the center of the eye. Nothing glittery, nothing, just, just a little sparkle. I feel like at my age with my crepiness around my eyes, it just kind of detect, deflects from that and draws the attention more towards my eyes and not my under eyes. So I'm just not one for a full matte look. Um, now, I also don't like metallics. I don't like glitter. I don't like anything like that. I also don't like highlighter. Um, I prefer my makeup to be very, very matte. And um, there's a few bronzers that I love, but my absolute favorite and the ones that I, the one that I go back to time and time and time again um, is what I have on today along with the blush. And I absolutely love it. It's just my favorite. It's the one that's the easiest for me to use and works the best with my skin tone. I just really, really like it. And it took me a long time to find it. So yeah, I'll leave it linked for you. If you're, I am light. I have a light skin complex. I used to think I had medium, but I don't. I, I'm very light, which I didn't really realize <laughs> until I was older. Um, but I have a pink undertone. So when I use any kind of brownie bronzers, I look yellow and orange. It looks terrible to me. So I have to have a rosy undertoned bronzer, more like a sunburned bronzer than a golden bronzer. So that's what I used here. Anyway, and this on my lip, let me get a sip of coffee. I was watching someone I don't know what. I have had the worst time with chapped lips. <sighs> this last six months of, I guess it's menopause, has just absolutely, 
absolutely torn me to pieces. It has been such, such a stark change from what I'm used to. I've never had dry skin. I've always been super oily. I've never had dry lips. Occasionally, I would get a dry lip here and there if we were out in the wind or something, but never just all the time. I have never been more hot than I have been in the last few months. Anyway, it's been a huge change and I'm still breaking out. Like I've started breaking out. That could be food. That really, seriously, that, that's most likely just food for me. But yeah, because I got a hive here and then one right here. It was really, so I have one here and here recovering. I have been clean eating back on plan since last Monday. I'm down five pounds since last Monday. I mean, that just goes to show you the inflammation that my body holds on to when I'm not eating to plan. Anyway, back to my point. My lips have been dry. I've tried every lip balm, lip oil, lip everything that I have in my cabinet. And all of it just makes it feel like once it wears off, my lips feel even drier. I've never experienced that before. I have been using the NARS lip balms forever. I love the Chantecai lip lipstick balms. I love those. But they're making my lips more chapped. And the Chantecai having color in it, it's hard to wear as a lip balm. Because when you wear a lip balm, you kind of want it a little bit on the outside of your lips. And then the um, the NARS, I have one that's very light, so it doesn't really show. It doesn't bother. That, I've used that. <laughs> the Dolce Vita one, the, um, is it Dolce Vita? Y'all have corrected me a hundred times. I can't remember. It's one of those. That, and then the Laguna color. There's just a bunch of the different NARS lip balms. I really like them. I like that they're a sheer wash of color. Super Goop has one that's a sunscreen that I've been wearing into port and everything because I like that it's a sunscreen and it has color. Um, and I will continue to wear that, but this, what I have on, the long way of me telling you, this stuff is so good. It, it's like a potted form of lip balm. So I have one from by Terry and I have one from Aurelia, both of which I really enjoy. And when my lips are just torn up, those are what I use. Um, you know, I, it's something I use all the time. I used to put them on every single night before I went to bed and now I've started using this. Um, I don't know what it is about this. It, it's like, it's like a, a lip oil, but it's not. It has a uh, hyaluronic acid, pet, pe peptides and squalene in it. I really have enjoyed this. It stays on the lips a long time without feeling that thick, gross. I can't stand that feeling. So what I did today is I put on a little lip liner. It's a BK Beauty one that I have had for a while. It's almost used up, so I'm just trying to use it up at home. Um, and this. This is not inexpensive, but um, I've only been using it a few, couple weeks now. And I really like it and I don't think I need anything else what I do is I put this on I either just put a lip liner on and then this or I'll put on like I have three favorite lipsticks I think y'all have known this for a very long time one is Miss Mistletoe by Gerard, Gerard Cosmetics the other is Indian Rose by Tom Ford and then any one of the uh, uh, Chantecaille lip balms but those I don't use with this. I just use the lipsticks. Anyway, I just put this on and then a little bit of the lipstick on top and I'm good to go. So very pleased with this. Oh, there, I have a little sample of a Gracie, I think is the color. Gracie, it may be a different color. In the, uh, it's the red container with the v, v, Valentino lipstick. It's a little sample of it. I'll use that one too. It's very nice. I like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and Pillow Talk and things like that. I have little bitty samples of them and I really like these tiny, tiny, itsy bitsy little samples of lipstick. How often do you go through a lipstick if you have as many as I have? So that brings me to another point. I am about to just eliminate pretty much 
all of my old lipsticks. I've been hanging on to a lot of them just because I like the color. One day I hope to replace them. No, I think I'm just gonna get rid of a majority of them along with my shadow sticks, eyeshadow sticks, and um, you know things I'm just not wearing. Uh, I went through it last year. I went through it, yeah, last year and pared everything down significantly. Now I'm gonna do it again and really pare things down even more. Um, I have some special eyeshadow palettes that I don't ever want to get rid of that I don't use every day, but I do use frequently because I really love them by Chanel. Some um, are by Charlotte Tilbury and Chantecaille. Chantecaille. So, yeah. And this, I know, a 10-minute rant about my makeup. You don't care. That powder foundation that I picked up from um, Sephora before we went traveling by Laura Mercier, it is just as good as the Chantecaille. Chantecaille especially now that my skin's gone a little bit drier. Um, if you have oily skin, stick to the Chantecaille. That stuff is fabulous. It's a gel powder moisturized, powder foundation, and it's fabulous. Overpriced, but you can get it on sale. You can get it 30% off from Chantecaille. A lot of times from Beautylish and places like that, they'll have Derm Store, they'll have a 20% off sale. 20, 25% off, that's when I would get it. Anyway. So there's your 411, and this is my newest Roxbox set. This, can you see it? Isn't that beautiful? It's too big for me. It didn't come in a five and this, but I have found with those sixes, I can put them on this finger right here. I don't really wear rings on this finger, but I can put it on there and it's fine. And so they're doing this limited thing where I get four pieces in my set. The necklace, excuse me, the matching necklace for this set right here is on its way. They had the spring 30% off sale, and so I picked up this pretty little necklace. So um, if you aren't a member of Roxbox, now is the time, because through the 22nd of March, I don't know when I'm going to get this posted, but hopefully I won't be, so it'll be over by then. But every month or so, they've been running this 30% off sale, so which is fabulous. So if you're a new member, if you use somebody's link, my link, anybody's link, I will leave mine down in the description box for you. But if you leave that link, if you use that link, then you get your first box free plus a $21 credit. And then imagine the 30% on top of that. So let's say your first set's 150 bucks, you'll get 21% off plus, or $21 off plus 30% off. So you could really save some money there. So if you're interested in Rocks Box, now is the time to try it. Um, or wait for the next 30% off sale, which this one is spring. I would imagine maybe they'll do one for summer. Maybe they'll do one for fall. That's what I have noticed them doing is the start of each season, they run a 30% off sale, although they ran one last month for Valentine's Day. So, or something, some sort of sale. So. That one was a one-time use code. This one seems to be able to be used more than once, so maybe, I don't know. Okay, now on to um, a couple of things. That back there, I'll get to that, precious baby. Uh, my Stitch Fix. So uh, my stylist sent over my preview today. I'm gonna run it along the screen here. And um, let me actually pull it up on my photos because I did a screen record so that we could uh... so the first piece is this Daniel Rain flutter blouse I think it's so pretty I did choose that one I skipped the evolution by Cyrus uh, button sleeve cardigan I don't like three-quarter sleeve cardigans which is not my thing but this next piece the um, Monday fun day the Matilda ruffle detail blouse I actually had that in my favorites I guess she saw it and sent it to me also, the 41 Hawthorne Maury Split Neck Sleeveless Blouse, that was in my favorites, and she sent it to me. And then the shoes, those are in my favorites, and she sent them to me. Well, she gave them as a choice. I didn't pick them because I know Mia sandals. I know how they fit, so I don't want to waste one of my picks to try something on something I know that fits that I will likely be buying. I love Mia sandals. They fit my feet perfectly. If you have slightly wide feet, like I do, I used to think I had really wide feet. I don't. I just have slightly wide feet. Those are a good pick. And then the next option is this Skyser Blue Sage Pleated Midi Skirt. 
I love the color of this skirt. Now it has a slit in it and I've had a Skyser blue skirt from Stitch Fix before. I purchased it, I actually sent it off to thread up and sold it, never having worn it because I didn't like the colors of the skirt. It was green and I knew better than to keep green. Green is not my color. This one is blue and white. It's a midi skirt. It'll be a little bit longer on me and I absolutely love it and I love the pleatedness of it. Um, I haven't gotten to show you, but I did pick up this skirt from Stitch Fix. I will leave it linked for you. I absolutely love it. It was supposed to be worn on Europe. It goes down to my ankles. It's very, very long on me and I sized up in it so that the pleats would sit flat on my, on my tummy because I do have a tummy and that's kind of a trick. If you want to wear the pleated skirt trend, if you size up in the skirt, it sits a little bit flatter so it doesn't come in and snug up against the waist. It kind of creates a straight line if you size up and then the pleats kind of sit correctly. Whereas if you get your actual size, they'll bump out over your tummy. Yeah, so I have picked up three different pleated skirts because of that. The next is this 41 Hawthorne Genie Ruffle Detail Dress. You know I love the 41 Hawthorne dresses. You know that I do. I love this one with no exception. I love this one. I know how they fit. I know that I love them and I will pick this one up eventually. But right now I wanted to choose something else because I know how the 41 Hawthorne dresses fit and I know I love them. So I didn't want to waste a pick on that. The next one is, the and that 41 Hawthorne is in my favorites. The next one is this Beatrice maxi dress with side slit. I love this. I love it so much, but I don't need it. And because it's one of those dresses, I wouldn't really be able to wear a bra with it. I did want to try it and see if I can wear it with a bra, regular bra, not a strapless bra. Because of the way the dress is cut, it looks like I should be able to, but I didn't want to waste my pick because this Tribal pull-on faux wrap skirt with piping detail had my name all over it. I love skirts, and I have been loving them lately. The ones from Spanx, I swim in them. Um, I just ordered one from Avia from Walmart. It's green, which I just said I didn't like. Um, it was 12 bucks. They had a blue one and a black one, and I was like, I have enough blue and black. Let me just get this blue, green one, wear it with a nice tank top. It'll be great. Um, but I wanted to try this tribal squirt. You know, I really did. I probably am gonna wanna size up in it instead of have, this is a small. Instead of getting a small, I probably want a medium. Um, and then this next pair is the tribal Carla pull on short. Uh, these have a seven inch hem in them. If they were a five inch, I would have chosen these instead of um, the white blouse at the beginning. So, okay. I don't know if you're gonna see these tried on. It hasn't shipped yet. Uh, it's due to arrive the week of March 30th. Um, and so maybe I'll show it to you. Maybe I won't. I have no idea. You know, stitch fix is stitch fix. So, okay. On the screen, you are now seeing our newest little foster. Right now we're calling him little kitten. We believe he's a male. He was trapped. He is extremely feral. So because of that, we can't really touch him and nobody's been able to touch him. So he came here to be fostered because we have a lot of animals. Bruce, we have Bruce who is a therapy cat. We have dogs for him to get used to, noises. There's a lot going on here. So it's a great environment for a very changeable feral kitten to come and stay. Um, right now, he has made huge strides. Uh, so he started off climbing the walls. We couldn't calm him down. He was hiding from us. Finally, um, we coaxed him with treats and food into the little kennel that we have here, which you guys have seen before. We coaxed him into there. We shut the, the door. He's hiding behind the litter box right now. I don't know if you can see him, but this the top of him. is peeking up. And he had this box over here, which I don't think you can see, uh, in there for a week. And we would pet him with we would pet him with these. Uh, 
these help him so you sit on them or you put them on against your body and get your smell all over them and then you use them to pet the cat to touch the cat while they're still swiping and swatting and scratching and biting. That way they bite this and not you. <laughs> this one's a little short, I need a longer one, but this is gonna be fine for now. He's come a long way and I don't need the longer one anymore, but if I were just starting off, I would need the longer one. Um, so we have this and we'll put treats on the end of it, like the liquidy treats on the end of it. Sometimes we'll put cat food on the end of it just different things just to get him acclimated to it and learn that he can trust it and he can trust us. We talk to him a lot and we don't, um, we don't make sudden noises and things like that. Initially, this was, this was initially, um, we had to take out the little box that he was in because he wouldn't come out of it when we would come near it. And it was preventing us from being able to really pet him. So it has an openable lid, so we opened the lid, and when we opened it, he ran out the front of it into his little kennel thing. So we pulled that out, and he is not happy about that. It's only been a couple of days since he hasn't had his little hiding box. So we don't let Buddy in here or Little Dog in here. The only one that's been allowed, two that have been allowed to come in here are Bruce and Grayson. And so they've come in, and he's very vocal when they come in. He wants to talk to them. We know he's lonely but it's not safe for our cats to be with him right now. So, um, yeah, as soon as he's had, there's his little head. As soon as he's had his shots, and as soon as um, he's had all of his blood work done, then, and we know he's safe, then he can be around our other cats. So, um, in which we'll let Brucey come in and really spend some time with him because Brucey keeps going nose to nose with him. He wants to play with him. He wants to pet him. You know, he wants to be with him. And we can't yet because it's not safe for Brucey. Y'all know Brucey is sick. Um, so we have to be very careful. So, yeah. But he's quiet right now. He's very squeaky. He's very, very squeaky. Um, we, Pipsqueak is what we've kind of dubbed his name, but maybe Pip or Pippy. We're not really sure yet. We haven't decided. We're calling him a him because most of the cats that have been trapped around us are males. Um, I don't know why that is. So he's also a ginger cat, which I think those are mostly males, right? Ginger cats are mostly males, isn't it? And then calico cats are almost always female. So anyway, so there you go. All right, you guys, um, it's been mostly me talking to you in this vlog. I'm sure it's been quite long. Thank you for your patience while I'm gathering some footage. Coming up in the vlog next, um, I'm back on track. So, you know, we'll be back in the kitchen a little bit and um, we will, uh, I don't know, have, I don't have any idea what we're gonna be doing. I do have some video ideas, things that are coming up on the channel. That's not it. And uh, this is just a couple. You guys have asked for like some pork guides. So we may do something like that. I don't know if I have a time for that before we go. I think I talked about this already, but um, the Virgin Voyages review, Robert and I still have not filmed that. You guys, I don't know what it is. I don't know why we can't get that video filmed. Um, how to cruise gluten-free and of course, gluten-free Virgin Voyages. Those are coming as well as a whole long series of shorts. I have lots of content for shorts. Um, and uh, that's mostly shorts. It's just what I call filler content. It's just a little something to go up on the channel so the channel isn't just stagnant while I have no content. <laughs> so uh, I like my home vlogs to be a couple of weeks in advance, you know, a couple of weeks ahead um, because I, I have so little filming here at the house anymore. So anyway, oh, oh, and I did buy some new litter boxes. Uh, you guys know I always buy new litter boxes. I'm always forever looking for new litter boxes. The black one that I bought last year, I still really, really like that. When you feed on top of it, it's closed. The dogs can't get in it. It's excellent. But the ones that I bought that are like the plant, one will come back in here to replace this one that's just open over here. Um, the plant ones, they are rounded and it's really difficult to keep them clean. It's hard to get to the edges. It's gross, but that's just, yeah. So I decided to go back to rectangular ones, but I do like the ones enclosed in furniture. So I picked up this and I'll leave it linked for you. Um, very inexpensively. So, you know, 
I don't like to spend a lot of money on these things, unfortunately, because they get disgusting and you have to end up really letting them go, throwing them out, replacing them after a couple of years. You know, just think about what goes on inside them and as much as you wanna be clean, doesn't always work, but this one I'm actually going to line with contact paper to see if I can kind of keep it going a little longer than most of them. So, you know, to kind of liquid proof things, <laughs> having male cats, maybe you understand. <laughs> so if you have a low sided litter box, it's, they can make a mess. Um, and the high sided litter boxes are really expensive on Amazon. I am gonna go look at um, PetSmart, Petco. Maybe I'll take you with me. So there you go. All right, um, but next week, yeah, we do need to run into Costco. We need to um, maybe go to PetSmart. Uh, Buddy is needing some specialty food because his tummy is, y'all know his tummy is so super sensitive. And little dog, um, little dog still will eat anything. Um, so yeah, but hopefully we'll be taking this one to the vet here soon and seeing how things go for him. It can take four to six to eight weeks with a feral cat before you can really get them to the vet. So, okay, having a hot flash. Whew, I'm gonna let you go. I really appreciate you. I really do. Thank you so much for watching this nonsense vlog. <laughs> I know some of you tell me you watch anything and I really appreciate it. I really, really do appreciate it. I have vloggers that I don't care what they put out, I watch it. And so... To be the person like that for you means a lot to me. So, all right, we'll see you next time. If you will, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It always helps, it helps a lot. Um, this, this type of video throws off the algorithm on my channel and it kind of hurts when I start posting cruise vlogs again because I don't get the views on home vlogs. But you know what? I don't really care because home vlogs are my favorite. <laughs> all right, I'll see you next time, bye.